Hello, I'm Millian St. Hilaire, and in this short video, I'm going to show you about uh, how to use Circuit Breaker or System Defense in Mesh Commander. So I'm going to go ahead and connect to a machine using Mesh Commander. And if you guys don't know, System Defense is a way of filtering traffic on the network interface of Intel AMT. So um, it's good if you want to isolate a system uh, from the network to do various maintenance or things like that on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect to that system and then this window I am going to ping the system. So now it's pinging uh, and the system is responding and this is pinging the OS. So as this is happening I am going to go in here and add a new policy and I'm going to call this drop all and the default is going to be to drop the traffic on transmit and receive. So this is basically going to drop all traffic. Now, uh, when you add a policy, it's not active yet. What you need to go do is go into the wired policy here. If you have wireless also, you'll see two of these, uh, the wired and wireless. Then you click on it and you set the active policy you want, drop all and say okay. And now you'll see the packet is starting to time out. So basically what's going on here is the OS on that remote computer can no longer send or receive any packets at all on the AMT wired NIC. So that's cool. Now of course if I click on drop all and go back to none, there you go, the ping now resumes. Another thing I can do is I'm going to delete this policy, add a new policy called drop all again, but this time I'm going to say drop and count as the default and say OK for transmit and receive. Then once again, set up the drop all. And uh, the difference here is that not only is it going to drop, but you're going to see the packet counters go up here. And what happens is Mesh Commander has to pull the counters off of AMT. And so this is why um, every few seconds you'll see the counters go up here. Now they do progress very quickly internally inside the AMT, but uh, you have to pull them and so that's what's going on. Okay, another thing I can do is add a new policy called count all and I'll just say count. Let's see, allow and count. Allow and count. Say okay. Perfect. And then I'm going to switch a drop all to a count all. There it goes. And now you see the traffic resume and the counters have restarted back at zero and they are now you know, going up as traffic is being sent and received. Now the way system defense works is that you normally have a set of filters. So uh, the filter button here and you can have up to I think 16 filters or maybe a little less. So, so uh, AMT will look at all the filters. If you don't match any of them, it will hit the default. So if you want to do anything more complicated, you can say add filter. And now here you can put uh, Ethernet, IPv4, IPv6 traffic, inbound, outbound, what the action is, and so on. And so, for example, you can make something that dr drops, you know, ICMP or whatever. And once you've done these filters, then when you add your policy, you can add the filters here and then and then set up the policy. Now, if you want to do anything more complex, you go on to meshcommander.com and underneath Mesh Commander, uh, the, the web page, there's something called defense rules. And this text explains how to go into more details on building filters. So you need to basically type in uh, what your filter matching cr criteria is and so on and so forth. So that's it. Very quick demonstration of system defense with Mesh Commander. Thank you.